Can transforming to versus secure SD-WAN drive down network OPEX for large enterprises? First, we'll have a brief review of the versus secure SD-WAN solution. This diagram shows an enterprise network that has been transformed to versus secure SD-WAN. We have physical versus devices in headquarters, branch sites, and the data center. We have a virtual versa appliance in AWS and Azure. Versa Director provides central network and security policy management, and Versa is executing all the SD-WAN and routing functions. We can enforce the enterprise security policy at the branch or a hub site, and Versa also serves as remote access servers for mobile workers. This scales to thousands of branches with powerful analytics, open APIs, and complete multi-tenancy. So here are the five ways Versa can lower TCO in the enterprise network. First, there's the WAN Edge Network Appliance Consolidation. We can also help with Network License Consolidation. You can choose from multiple Versa certified cost-effective x86-based network appliance options, including Versa CSG and Dell VEP. And Versa Secure SD-WAN needs a smaller network appliance than a multi-VNF branch solution. And then there's the MPLS to Internet for transport cost savings. The first opportunity is the branch network appliance consolidation. In many enterprises, there is some appliance sprawl. We might have a router appliance and an SD-WAN appliance, a WAN optimization appliance, a next-gen firewall, and maybe an LTE WAN backup appliance. As we transform to Versa, we can have a single appliance running the Versa operating system that performs the SD-WAN, next-gen firewall, unified threat management, routing, secure access functions, and LTE WAN backup. This appliance natively runs the Versa operating system and natively performs all of these functions. This is not multiple VNFs. This is one piece of software doing it all. So to unfold that a bit further, we're looking at an infrastructure where we have our LAN as a branch, and we have the Versa Secure SD-WAN device northbound of the LAN, and Versa has a pipeline packet processing model where we can perform all of these functions in a single pass. Other vendors may have a virtualization platform and multiple VNFs, and the packets are then flowing through multiple VNFs. So that's what this looks like. We have an x86 box running a virtualization layer, some sort of hypervisor, and then we have multiple VNFs on top of that, service chained together. And Versa can actually function in this environment. We can be the SD-WAN VNF in that environment. But in this model, you typically have a larger box, then you have multiple VNFs, and then multiple panes of glass to manage it. It is basically a much more complex branch solution and a more expensive branch solution. The bigger opportunity is actually license consolidation. In a typical multi-VNF solution, you may have a license for SD-WAN, a license for next-gen firewall, a license for secure access, a license and support contract on a router, analytics, and a virtualization platform license. In the Versa solution, you have a single license for all of these functions, so it's much more cost-effective in terms of licensing. Another opportunity is network hub consolidation. On the left, you'll see a typical large enterprise hub. So we have a hub in EMEA, a hub in Asia-Pac, a hub in North America, and it's not uncommon to have a large next-gen firewall, maybe an SD-WAN appliance, and then maybe a legacy router for underlay. Most of our competition has not yet consolidated their SD-WAN codebase and their next-gen firewall codebase into a single piece of software. So these are typically separate physical appliances or separate virtual appliances. And then with some of the SD-WAN solutions, their BGP routing table is not large enough to be the hub underlay router. So there may be larger Cisco or Juniper underlay routers northbound of the SD-WAN in the hub sites. So this becomes a pretty expensive model. It's a pretty complicated model. In the Versa solution, we have a single Versa node that once again performs SD-WAN functions, security functions, and advanced routing functions. 
We can also be the SD-WAN MPLS to underlay gateway. And we can be the secure access server for mobile workers. So one appliance running Versa operating system natively that performs all of these functions. This is much more elegant and more cost effective. Another opportunity is using standards-based hardware so you can deploy the Versa solution on Versa network appliances, on Dell VEP network appliances, or four different Versa certified white box vendors. All these appliances ship with Versa operating system installed. They'd boot up as a Versa node. And as an enterprise customer, you can choose from multiple Versa certified network appliances at very cost effective prices. So you're not obliged to buy Versa network appliances. You have a choice. Another opportunity is the MPLS to internet for transport. And as you migrate to higher bandwidth circuits to your sites, which is a natural occurrence, these are a fraction of the price of MPLS. This is one of the largest OPEX savings from MPLS to SD-WAN migration. And this is common to all SD-WAN migrations. So we summarize this in the OPEX category because we have a smaller network appliance in the branch and the support contract is proportionally smaller. In addition, your licensing costs are much lower in the Versa solution than in a multi-VNF solution. Internet transport costs, they'll be a wash. And then, once again, in the Versa solution, we don't need these large third-party next-gen firewall and underlay routers in the hub locations, further reducing OPEX costs on those support contracts. On the CapEx side, the branch network appliances are less expensive, and then we don't need the large third-party firewalls and large third-party underlay routers, which saves you additional CapEx. So when you add up the OPEX savings and the CapEx savings, it's pretty significant. We estimate a Versa Secure SD-WAN transformation is at least 60% less than other SD-WAN solutions, and possibly more. So in summary, how can Versa lower network TCO? For enterprises that lean into a Versa Secure SD-WAN transformation, there was a significant savings opportunity. To realize the most cost savings, enterprises should use Versa for SD-WAN security and secure access. Consolidating from multiple network appliances per branch to a single appliance is a good savings, but the Versa license consolidation is the much larger savings opportunity. You can consolidate expensive hub site network infrastructure into a single Versa Secure SD-WAN device. And Versa is the leader in secure SD-WAN. We hope you find this useful, and thanks for joining us. Have a great day!